Previously, I've made a video about how to spot fake PS3 controllers, and today I wanna do the same, but this time for PS4 controllers. I took it to the next level and I've got multiple sealed controllers, supposed to be from different countries. So I'll be trying to figure it out, which one is genuine and which one is fake, since the beginning, even before opening it. There are plenty of controllers compatible with PlayStation 4 consoles, but in this video I'll be talking strictly about those who pretend to be genuine, made by Sony, but they're fake, made by unknown manufacturers. I have nothing against controllers made by different brands or against controllers who just copy the PlayStation controller layout, but if the controller has the Sony and PlayStation logo on it, and it's not genuine, there is a problem because there is a lie and the product doesn't deliver the standards it's supposed to. Spotting them right from the box may be a bit more difficult at the beginning, and definitely without a trained eye, they all look the same and genuine. Every single box has the Sony logo and PlayStation logo, so they're genuine. Well, not really. They have different boxes because they're supposed for different countries, and depending on where we are, one or another, may be more present on the market. This one is supposed to be for North America and Hong Kong. This one is supposed to be for Japan. And this one for Europe. From this batch I have two identical controllers, however, even though they seem to be identical, one of them is fake. So let's analyze them one by one and see what we can find. Later on, I will unbox each one of them and confirm if they're fake or not. Firstly, the one supposed to be for Japan. The box itself is very good quality. Here we have the PlayStation symbol. It says DualShock 4. On rear side, PS4 and PlayStation symbol again. At the back, we have a seal with Sony Interactive logo. Once more, PS4. On the second one, supposed to be for Europe, we have the PlayStation symbol the Sony logo, PlayStation text logo, and DualShock 4. Then it says it's a wireless controller and the PS4 logo. At the back we have a text in multiple languages. Here another PS4 logo and some more logos. Here we have one supposed for US. The Sony logo in upper right. PlayStation symbol and text in upper left. Wireless controller for PS4, PS TV and PS Now. At the back, once again, Sony. PlayStation. Everything is written only in English and no other language. And the fourth controller, supposed for Europe. Here we have Sony. PlayStation symbol and PS4 text, DualShock 4 wireless controller, and the bottom right it says its color, jet black. At the back, once again, a text in multiple languages. On rear side, more logos. And at the top, once more, jet black, PlayStation. Sony. Now let's take a closer look. PlayStation home button looks a bit strange to me. The seal cut looks extremely clumsy. And here the word entertainment seem to be split into entertain and inment. But what raised me the biggest question is the series on the rear side of the box. The series end with E letter and that's supposed to be for Europe. I never saw a European version with such box and as far as I know such type of packaging 
is used only in Japan. Same thing on the back too. Well, but what makes me 100% sure this one is fake is the year of manufacture at the back of the box. It says 2013 and the jet black version of DualShock 4 was released in 2016. So at this point I'm extremely sure this is a fake controller. In 2013 there was no jet black controller yet and there was only the black controller which is popular known as DualShock 4 version 1, the one which is fully black and without the thin light bar at the top of touchpad. That's how it looks a controller from 2013. It's all black and there are no gray parts. So let's move to the next one. This one looks like a fake from miles away, but let's see more of it. It's shaking inside the box. The plastic foil over the touchpad is absolutely ridiculous. The print on the circle button is not even centered. The PlayStation Home button looks okay. At the bottom of the box I see a charging cable. Sony usually don't include such cables with the controller. Here on the right side I'm having a genuine controller from the same line of products, both made for Europe. These boxes are supposed to be the same, but they're not. On the fake it doesn't set the color. The overall print quality is pretty bad. And for Netherlands, the flag is missing. This is not a mistake Sony would do. It's quite impossible to release a product and put there a text for a country where the flag is missing while on other countries all flags are there. Here the box is actually made of very good quality. The PlayStation Home button seems to be quite imperfect. Here I can see there is a transparent foil over the touchpad. That's not what Sony usually do. At this point I'm almost sure this is fake, but let's check the year of manufacture. Yeah, nowhere says any year at all. So that's absolutely impossible. There is no product without the year of manufacture printed on the box. This is definitely a fake controller. This one is also supposed to be for Europe. So far everything seemed to be fine. It has the jet black color printed on front. It has all flags for all countries. This one is definitely a different batch and the box is quite different. Instead of PlayStation text, it says only PS4. At the back is not advertised with share button functions. It has no plastic foil. The PlayStation Home button looks fine. The package is made in 2021. So far everything seems to be completely fine and this one looks like a genuine controller made by Sony. Well, I removed this controller which I knew is genuine because I have it since time ago. And so far these are the four sealed controllers we were looking at. I think only this one is genuine and all others are fake who only pretend to be Sony but they are something else. A fake suppose for Europe, one suppose for US, and another one suppose for Japan. Now let's unbox them and see what's all about.
after opening each single one of them, obvious signs rose up. The cable included. Fake. This transparent foil. Fake. PlayStation Home button. Poorly printed. Large space between parts when assembled. Unaligned text prints. Even the headset print looks different. The USB symbol on genuine controller is the bust, while on all three fake controllers is embossed. All screws on the genuine controller have a circular pattern, while on all fake controllers the screws are just standard without any stripes. I even checked a very old controller to verify, and there are stripes on the screw. The joystick itself is more rough on the genuine controller, while on fakes is more soft. And the ultimate proof, let's open them. Each one near its original box, so we can see the difference between them. This was the most obvious fake by its appearance, and instantly when I open it, I can see a poorly made controller. This one is also an obvious fake. And the last one, same story. Now, let's quickly have a look inside a genuine controller. Here we have a completely different story, a completely different battery. On the genuine one, we also have the PlayStation symbol printed on the controller motherboard. Yeah, in few words, just fake controllers. Some wonder how these fake controllers behave. Well, this video is already long enough, and that would be a different topic. In this video, the main idea was about how to spot a fake, and not how is a fake comparing with a genuine controller. But I'll make a video about that, and I will put the link in the description. So far, there are plenty of signs about how to spot a fake, since the box is completely sealed. And if we encounter a used controller, and we wonder if that one is a fake or a genuine one, there are obvious signs all around. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.